Tourism is a major economic driver in New England, and from the Freedom Trail to coastal fishing communities, the big appeal is a well-preserved history. But as Stephanie Lydon tells us, that history and the tourism it fuels are increasingly in danger of being literally washed away. The same waterfront that brings modern-day visitors to Portsmouth, New Hampshire, also attracted its earliest settlers. They needed water for transportation. They needed water for a, f a food source. Uh, and so the oldest parts of our country are right on the water. And for Rodney Rowland, managing water is now job number one at Strawberry Bank Museum, where he's in charge of preserving dozens of historic homes. How old is this house, Rodney? Uh, Shelby Driscoll House is 1795. It survived two centuries of storms. But over the last decade, Rowland says tides from the river across the street have reached unprecedented levels. We're seeing bigger, bigger storms that are pushing the water farther and farther and harder and harder. This time-lapse video captured flooding powerful enough to knock over props and in less than two hours, fill the basement with 16 inches of water. Floods have left their mark. There's mold and rot. That rot eventually means what for the house? It'll fall down. One of the timbers supporting the first floor let go due to rot, and the entire floor dropped a couple of inches. Modern solutions are expensive and sometimes mean sacrificing historical detail. But he says the houses of Strawberry Bank can be saved. Some history has already washed away. It's gone. It's just fallen right out of the bank. Megan Howey, a University of New Hampshire anthropological archaeologist, has uncovered here at the edge of the Oyster River, just outside Portsmouth, what remains of a home built by the British in the 1600s. This is the back corner of the house. The foundation has come straight out of this embankment. Those big stones are part of that that foundation. As recently as 20 years ago, she says aerial photo analysis shows most of the foundation was still intact. Now she's in a race against time and rising tides to locate similar sites along this river. They were living on the river. There were no roads, right? So the water was the highway. Rich in fish, timber, and fur, this river, she says, was both the edge of wilderness and the heart of a 17th century global economy. But even as her team unearths the river's history, her research shows over the next century, storm surges threaten to wipe out 14 percent of historic sites along New Hampshire seacoast. The loss, she says, isn't just academic. It's also about the bottom line. I like to say the past is one of the biggest tourist destinations out there. Will people still come to this area for tourism if the authentic experience isn't there? It's a reason for this area and others to find a way to protect the past from storms that could both make and destroy history. Stephanie Lydon, WGBH News. Strawberry Bank Museum in Portsmouth is now working on an exhibit about its plan to save their historic buildings from rising waters.